Sandy here and welcome to Stretch the Sketch for July 2019. Today we are using this sketch uh, right here and I am stretching it to a two page 12 by 12 uh, layout. Give you a little peek of that. I've pulled out a couple things already. I've pulled out some photos from Cars Land. Um, I also have this scrap sheet of paper from a Paige Evans collection. I have this Vicki Booten Color Kaleidoscope paper. And I have these two sheets of paper from the Carousel Collection from Maggie Holmes. And I'm going to be using the star side. So let me pull these things together. Let's see what I can do. All right, so as you can see, I went ahead and sliced up some of my papers. I sliced up that beautiful rainbow paper and I also sliced up the say cheese paper and I just created uh, something that would stretch all the way across the 24 inch canvas. So I decided to make uh, my pictures just ever so slightly smaller than four by six so that I could have uh, part of that say cheese paper uh, flowing uh, behind it. And I did speed up this video a little bit faster than I normally speed it up, guys, because this video took me, uh, or this layout took me a long time, and I didn't necessarily want to cut anything out um, because I've had uh, emails and things that have said, hey, we want to see it. <laughs> but honestly, as much as I love talking and as much as I love running my mouth, I did not want to... I run my mouth for an hour so that is uh, what we got so this punch that I'm using right now is from little B and it creates tickets and the cool thing about this punch you'll see in just a second is that you can rip apart the tickets and it gives you like that true ticket ripped apart look it's super cool um, look at that ah so cool so I'm just trying to figure out where exactly I want my embellishments to be. So the sketch does have it, uh, that embellishment over top and underneath of each photo. But guys, like, I didn't want that to be exactly that way. I kind of had uh, my own ideas of what I wanted. So I decided that my rainbow papers would represent kind of the embellishment that's above and below, uh, B-O, B-low. Starting to say beyond, then comes out B-O, and then all I meant was above and below my photos. So I punched out some more uh, tickets just in another color so I could get a little bit of something else in the layout, a little bit of color. Now I am treating the 12 by 24 uh, double page layout as one big canvas. So as you can see, I split that ticket uh, right, right in there. And there we go. So that's gonna basically put out where the tickets are gonna be and kind of give me the base for my embellishments. So I decided to bring in some wood veneer and I had one of these cars left and I thought that it would be perfect for Cars Land. And this little plastic bin is what I keep my wood veneer in, uh, except for the really large wood veneer, and then that lives in another little place. Uh, but, you know, you gotta, keep, you gotta keep your stuff handy and what works for you. So keeping everything in that little bin works, and it's probably, I would say, almost, half as uh, heavy as it was when I first started storing it in there. So that's good. Using up stuff just makes me ridiculously happy. So there we go. I decided to introduce some wood veneer that has this gold sparkle. I wasn't sure if I was going to bring in gold or silver on this layout and gold made it. So now I have these little wood veneer stars and these things these things make me stupid happy. Um, the little wood veneer stars are just adorable. So here is the other side of that say cheese paper and it has some cameras. So I decided to fussy cut the cameras. Now, I really didn't pay attention to where I was cutting. So it looks like I only have one 
a row of full cameras. However, I'm gonna be tucking these cameras in behind so I don't have to worry about using the full cameras. I can use the ones that are kind of cut off the page. Um, so always think about that. So if you're fussy cutting something and you know you're gonna tuck it, um, I do this with florals too when they are falling off the page. If I know that a certain section of whatever I'm fussy cutting is gonna show and some of it isn't, like take advantage of that. It stretches your paper a little bit further so you can fussy cut more. Um, plus it's just, it gives me a little thrill when I can work out something like that. I don't know if it'll give you a little thrill or you think I'm insane, but uh, that's what it works. Works for me, so makes me happy. All right, so now I am just using some of my ATG to put my wood veneer down. Now I also like to use my liquid glue, but you know what, sometimes um, I just go with the original and there was a very long time where the only thing I used, the only adhesive I used was my ATG um, until I discovered the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive, which is a liquid adhesive that I actually am sticking to using. Um, I say that, but then with this layout, didn't, didn't do it apparently, used my ATG. So I've pulled out another little embellishment box and I'm just trying out things to see what I like. Um, that was a little silver clip and I thought I was gonna introduce some silver in there as well and I decided not to. Just wasn't working for me. Now these little plastic neon green book plates, I have had forever. I mean forever. And you know, there's been a couple times where I've thought about throwing them in a giveaway box um, or taking to a crop or a retreat where you have like a give and take table. But for some reason, I've held on for them, and I guess the reason was that I was gonna use it on this Cars Land layout, so there they are. Now, don't worry, I will do something besides just leaving them as an empty book plate, but honestly, I like the look of them as an empty book plate uh, before I did anything else, so who knows, maybe I should have left them. Um, now I've flipped through some stickers and I have this always, and then I decided had to move my wood veneer. And because the ATG hadn't uh, really been sticking down to the paper very long, it was easy for me to pull the wood veneer up and just kind of rub away the adhesive. So now I'm pulling out these simple stories. Uh, they call them new brads. I don't know if they still put them out in the collections. But for a while they were out and they were called new brads and that is what that rad uh, little embellishment is up there. So as you can see now I've just started pulling out my embellishments and I'm trying to just create this um, lots of embellishments going on around my page. So I have five embellishment clusters and I like this because it gives me an odd amount of embellishment clusters across the two page spread. But when the layout is in my album, and since I use three ring binders, they'll be separated. It gives me three clusters of embellishment on each 12 by 12 layout. So that makes me, um, makes, makes my little, my little heart happy. Now be sure to check out all of the other ladies take on stretching this sketch. Um, I am sure there will be some more double page spreads. I'm sure there will be some eight and a half by 11. Some of the ladies use traveler's notebooks. Sometimes we go pocket pages. Sometimes we go six by 12. Any size you can think of, we take that 12 by 12 sketch and make it into another size. Now this series has been going on uh, now just for over a year. So that's super exciting that uh, the ladies have been doing this for that long and we're really uh, glad that you guys like this series so much. Now because of my lighting, you're not seeing all the gold words and I don't have my layout in front of me. I don't even know where I tossed it. I don't even know where I tossed it. Can you believe this people? So if you guys uh, know me or have watched my channel for any length of time, you will know that when I complete a layout, I like to put it right into its album. Um, 
stacks of layouts make me nervous. And then all of a sudden, last month, I realized I had a huge stack of layouts and I hadn't put them in albums. And I was like, oh, what am I doing? I can't even wait to film a flip through of what I did the month. I got to get them in the album. So I put them all away. And I was like, ah, oh, so good. And now when I look over to my left hand side, what do I have over there again? Guys, I'm so disappointed in myself. I have a stack of layouts again. Like, what is going on with me? I just, I just don't know. Okay, I just don't, I really don't know. So as you can see, I've just gone through my stash. I'm just picking out things that I think would work, trying them out. If I like them where they sit, I pop them down. Um, so the, the title is uh, Rad Fun Always. And that's, I, I mean, I don't use the word rad a lot. Um, I don't think I ever have really used the word rad a lot. But for some reasons or another, I don't know, rad makes it into scrapbooking collections. I don't know why. Um, but there it is. So I use some Baker's Twine just to, oh look, I brought out the Nouveau. <laughs> Okay, so I used some Baker's Twine uh, to go through that uh, hole in the star, and then I decided to also add it in there on my tag, just to give it a little bit of something. Everything is very, uh, I want to say hard on this layout. So it's papers and stickers and wood and acrylic, and I just wanted a little bit of something soft. So there we go. So now I am finally addressing the fact that there um, needs to be something for these book plates. Um, now I went ahead and popped on that high sticker and then I figured since I have um, these words in two places, I might as well make them happen in three. And I accidentally tore this word while I was trying to poke out the little hole in the E. So just put it back together and voila, don't even have to worry about it. You wouldn't even know that it's torn apart. So now I'm trying to figure out what word sticker is gonna be great for under high. And I pulled out these Chevel uh, stickers. I think these are from uh, Starshine. So I pulled those out and put those on there. And one of the things I really like to do when I uh, I'm doing a lot of embellishing. Like this is a lot of embellishing guys for um, a two page layout. And for two page layouts, I usually, I go one of two ways. I either go minimalist look where there's not a whole lot to, to worry about. And it's just a simple little like, just a, a simple little bit of embellishing. Um, or I go this way where I am just like embellishing it and embellishing it and, and embellishing it because as you guys know, more is more sometimes. Just went ahead and marked uh, where I need it to cut to have my uh, piece of paper fit perfectly inside of that little book plate. And then I used the highly scientific method of denting the paper with my fingernail to figure out exactly how high I wanted it. So I'm kind of free forming these tags. Um, I'm not using any kind of template. I'm not using really measuring a whole bunch of anything. And I cut them up and they turn out pretty okay. Like, I mean, they're not any kind of perfect tags by any means, but they work. So pop them in there. And it also gives me a little bit more of the pop of black because I had the tickets as the pop of black, but really I've covered up a majority of the tickets. So this is giving me something else. Now this time I decided not to add uh, twine to the tags. I just put little enamel dots there. And then I'm gonna bring in some cork arrows as well because I've already have arrows as a theme on this page. I have them in the epoxy shapes. I have them in wood veneer. So I just decided to go with it and add a little bit more. And this layout, guys, it's making me happy. Like it really is. I love um, big, beautiful, bold, lots of stuff all over to look at layouts, especially for Disney pages. 
Um, even if it's not overtly themed as Disney, it just makes my little heart so happy. <laughs> and I've said that a bunch already for this voiceover, so obviously this layout has really made me happy. Now, I decided to add a little bit of something extra. I felt like there was so much going on at the bottom of the page, and I was kind of building this cluster up a little bit higher on the left side, so I felt like to balance it out, I needed to make something happen over on the right side. So I pulled that little banner die cut there, and it's just chilling over there for a minute uh, because I know that I'm going to be doing something. But first I figured, you know, might as well work on this a little bit. Not exactly sure what I'm doing here. What am I doing? Oh, I'm trimming off. I decided that there was so much weight on the bottom of the page that I needed to add it some add something to the top. Look at me, I'm so excited, I can't even speak correctly. I needed to add something to the top to give it that weight. And I figured that this little strip of black paper up at the top gave it weight. So now I don't feel like, you know, everything's kind of falling off the bottom of the page. Now it takes me a minute to figure out how exactly I want this banner to uh, be strung across the page but then I finally figure it out and just trim ever so slightly off the ends uh, right there and then I'm like what am I doing I want another ticket the black ticket totally blends in so I quickly punch out another pink ticket and it's just a matter of figuring out how I want it to be so apparently I want it to be underneath of the black and then I'm going to add in some more of those new brads. Like I said, I don't know necessarily how new they are or how much of them they are actually in Simple Stories collections, but you know, it works. So I'm going to add in another uh, gold word sticker up there. And then I pull out some enamel dots and I'm just kind of, you know, sprinkling them about the page. The colors aren't an exact true match of what I got going on here but guys literally there are so many colors on this page that close enough works and that's just the way it's going to be so there it is I know that I add a line or two of journaling uh, not a whole lot because like I said there is a lot to look at on this page and it's not going to be my only layout of Cars Land I have lots of photos of Cars Land so oh I got distracted so I was about ready to journal, as you can see I have my, my pen out, and then I was like, oh, I need to fill in uh, these little holes on the book plates. So I used some white brads on the book plates uh, because I did not have brads in that bright green color. And then of course every time I poke something through the back of my page I always cover it in washi tape just to make sure everything goes. And then I decided, hey, I know I'm about ready to write some journaling and I thought I was finished with this page, but you know what? I need to add something else on these tags because now they just look like big, you know, hunks of a tag with nothing on there. So I use these Teresa Collins uh, Essentials letter stickers. They are pretty old. I have no idea if she still makes them. And I just put uh, some words there. So the bottom says 2018 and the top says cars. And there it is, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to click subscribe. Be sure to click every link down below so you can see all the ladies take on this month's sketch. And I will see you guys again uh, really soon. Have a good one.